Hey everybody, this is Josh Sud, aka Ask Joshy on YouTube, and today we have a match between Suggy and As. Suggy, a member of Root Gaming, the Yellow Zerg down here on the bottom right, as a member of somebody, I think it's fantastic, up here in the top left, and the map is Destination. You may have seen a couple of commentaries already that I've put up um, from this map, but basically the way it works is these bases are pretty far apart, um, farther than Blistering Sands, like just a bit farther than Blistering Sands distance, and the whole middle is like bridges, bridges to various expo locations, and there is a high yield on either side of the map, and you know, this isn't an original map, it is a StarCraft Brood War map that somebody converted for StarCraft 2, and we love when people do that because all the uh, StarCraft Brood War players love to be able to play a familiar map. Unfortunately, I don't think either of these players actually is very familiar with the map. Suggy specifically has said that he does not know what to do on this map, so I told him just play as good as you can <laughs> and try to win but as very fond of forward pylons followed by a forge followed by a gateway followed by a cyber core i have a feeling he's going to be making a hook this long so that and you know probably putting the nexus here and a couple of cannons here so that any speedlings that come will have to go all the way around i have you can't see my cursor but basically here, 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 and then up the ramp if they are going to harass. But uh, this drone dancing around, he wants to prevent any sort of fast expand from As. As is going to get the jump on the drone, and if this keeps up, the drone will die. But um, one trick that As could actually do here, instead of skating around and maybe getting a zap off every once in a while, hold position right there in the middle of that circle. He'd just spin and shoot. It's pretty cool. A lot of players don't do it still, I'm not sure why, but um, one, one, maybe two more zaps. One more zap on the drone, he will be toast. Oh, is he going to get it? Probe micro. <laughs> this is so exciting, oh my god. Oh, he drops the nexus instead of getting the kill first. And it is going to take two zaps now because he's back up to seven health. But the forge finished for as now, so he is going to be able to drop a cannon as soon as he wants to. He waited a little bit longer than he needed to, but... Got that cannon down, started a probe, and chrono boosted it, so he'll probably want a second probe so he doesn't waste any chrono boost. Oh no, as wasting chrono boost. You've, you're busted now. Everyone knows. Caught you. But uh, gateway coming in for as, as expected. As, 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 as. As expected, cannon down. Uh, the hook is, you know, forming up quite nicely. Maybe the cybernetic score will go right here to form the complete wall off with the nexus. He is going to need another pylon, at least one more pylon, because you know if this thing goes down, he is going to be in bad shape. And I really hate to see Protoss players lose um, very valuable pylons and end up uh, losing the game as a result. So Suggy actually taking his expo as well. As is going to have his finish first, but uh, Suggy's not too far behind. Oh, he's doing a quick double expand. Man, if you're doing that, you might as well even go for the high yield. It's right up there. It's not too much farther off, but uh, going for you know two fast hatches. And As, um, I think I think Suggy knows that As is a defensive player initially, so he is taking advantage of uh, this situation and playing with map control, basically just going all over the place. He's also... Uh-oh, check this out. Um, this is a, a StarCraft Brood War conversion called Destination. I mentioned that earlier. But this map designer has chosen to put in destructible rocks back here, whereas um, it was actually a chunk of minerals in the original. So um, he is going to be able to break this down. I'm not sure, as yes, as definitely sees these lings trying to break this down. So he is going to go ahead and bring a zealot over here and cannon up. Oh, might want to put that cannon up a little closer. I'm not sure if he can, though, because of that way the ramp is shaped there. But um, those destructible rocks are going to take a really long time to break down at that rate. Baneling Nest, however, coming in for Mr. Suggy, pulling up that production tab. And Zergling Speed is going to be finishing up soon, in about 22 seconds, according to that thing. But uh, Destructible Rock's going down a bit faster now that Suggy is actually attacking it with everything that's able to. And Queen's up, 
or at least one queen up at one of the expansions for Suggy. Uh, that cannon finishes and it does get a kill, so Suggy is going to have to go the long way. You know, either either the hard way around this hook or the long way through the rocks. Neither one is a great option for the speedlings right now. Um, As waits a long time to build any actual units, he does have pretty good ca cannon coverage right now, which, um, you know, Suggy, knowing that he is a very defensive player like this, may have even chosen to go mutalisks and had a lot of success here, um, just killing off whatever pylons he sees right away. That way no cannons can be morphed in as soon as Az realizes what's going on. Because Az, playing in the dark right now, check this out, took Az's view just now, he sees a spawning pool and a gas, no expansions. Suggy has a Baneling Nest and two expansions, and a ton of Banelings and Lings coming up the gut right here. He is going to take out that one vulnerable pylon. Oh man, so just, well actually just the Forge suffering, not really the, the biggest loss of all time, but the Speedlings breaking through that wall are going to play havoc with um, Az's mineral line and all these warp gates, or gateways rather, going to be way too slow to be able to handle this inflow of zerglings and the probes, um, their AI is so terrible they just sit there and get attacked, you have to A move with them to actually get them to defend themselves and uh, there is a zealot in there with those probes, I'm not sure if you can see him, where is he? I can't even target him because there's so many. Oh, now he's dead. But um, there was a, there was a zealot in there, I promise. But as you know, still alive, but uh, having to reform this wall with a warping and gateway, and all these lings are already back. There's only one cannon here to defend the front. Oh, the sentry with the great force field. Oh, another great force field, I was going to say. However, he could just run around the back and circumvent the entire thing, but he needs another sentry quick. Oh, if he's going to be able to live here. Oh no! Slightly off plays force field and doesn't have enough energy or has forgotten to block off the back. So he's slowly killing off these lings. You know, one or two cannons right there would be just so good to have. And I mean, this pylon powering everything. Suggy knows targeting pylons. Great idea. And so um, it looks like he is going to be able to clean this up without too many probe losses. But his income has to be showing... Uh, the huge difference there. Yes, Suggy on three bases, as with no gas, like has not even had time to basically gather any gas, but um, Suggy right now just with a ton of speedlings, he has the option of banelings, he is getting up to his lair now, getting that second gas there. Oh, he was running off of one gas the whole time, but he is, he's got quite a lot of resources available for him right now. Um, to support whatever tech route he chooses to go, going back into production, so I actually can see what that tech route might be. Upgrading weapons, um, totally frozen in time until this pylon comes back up. Might want more cannons. I mean, never, never harmful to have cannons. Look at this. This one has 15 kills. It's pulling its weight. This one here is eight. Um, might as well drop a cannon or two here at your main as well. Might as well just put them right there, or right here. Just plug that whole um, sieve that you have there. But, oh man, just masses of lings still out of Suggy. Tons and tons of lings. He has not uh, upgraded them. Just speed. He has the option of Bane Lings. Now the second Evo Chamber finishes up so he can start those upgrades whenever he gets the money. Uh, he is getting uh, Overlord speed as well as a Hydralisk pen. Oh, looks like he caught Az trying to move out, but a lot of good force fields provide excellent coverage for these stalkers and sentries to pick off some lings without uh, losing any units and he's gonna start moving out again gonna be able to engage these lings suggy pretty quick to respond but does lose a couple of lings in the process and uh, as gonna keep continuing his march here as suggy actually throwing up a fourth base man that'd be crazy if he's actually able to support um, a four base army against Az's two or one and a half since he was basically harassed the entire beginning of the game. You know, these force fields could actually make or break the entire game here. Uh, Suggy has a ton of production potential, but if his forces are split up and Az gets a cohesive enough attack here in the front line, Suggy could be in big trouble. And all these lings don't really know what manner they want to attack. Oh, he's sweeping down the front here, getting surrounded on all these sentries. He knows that force fields are just a huge pain in the butt. And um, 
tries to focus them down but is not successful. So as trying to take out this natural, he may actually want to move into the main since there are no real static defenses here. He'd be able to take out that spawning pool in Hydra Den and just secure a really great position for himself, killing the hatchery of course. Not the worst idea in the world, but with this huge advantage that he has right near, um, crippling Suggy's production ability would just be massive for him. So he does move up the ramp now. His shields have been regening basically the entire time that no lings were on him. All these zealots coming in to just slaughter drones and lings. Man, Ellen, these force shields trap all these drones and queen. Look at this. They're just shaking because they can't move anywhere. And just lots and lots of tier 1 units still coming in for Az. Uh, gonna be able to clean this up relatively easily. And so now Suggy down to two mining bases. He says he handed him that. And um forgot to put drones on gas, and that's his excuse. But as actually played a very good game, was able to live through that early harassment and take this game off of Suggy on Destination.